Hello everybody, Vicky here. Really nice to see you and welcome to our Sunday School session today. We've been talking about how special you are to God. God loves you so much. He loves to help you, support you, surround you. He loves to know what you're doing, to be involved in your life. Sometimes we are asked to do things that are really, really challenging, really difficult. And sometimes we probably feel like we want to give up. But with God's strength, with God's love, we can do anything. There are lots and lots of examples in the Bible, lots of stories of people who had real challenges to overcome, really difficult decisions to make, really difficult things happen in their lives. But with God's love and God's strength, they were able to make those decisions and overcome those difficult things. We're going to read a story now about somebody that you will know, somebody in the Bible from the Old Testament, and it's a person called Noah. Noah had a really, really difficult request from God. Let's see what happens. This story is called A Special Promise. God was sad, very sad, Everywhere he looked, he saw people making bad choices, hating each other, hurting each other, making a mess of his beautiful world. I need to start all over again, God decided. I need to make my world clean. And that's when he talked to Noah. Noah was not like the rest. He was a good man and God knew it. So God told him to build a boat, a boat big enough to hold Noah, his wife, his three sons, their wives, a pair of every animal in the world and food enough to feed all of them for a very long time. Noah's family were surprised when he told them what he was going to do. Noah's neighbours thought it strange of him to build a boat so far from the sea and it wasn't easy chasing and catching and cleaning up after all those animals. But Noah was a good man. He did what God told him, even when it was hard. At last, when they were all tucked safely away in the boat, God shut the door and then it started to rain. It rained for 40 days. It rained for 40 nights. It rained harder than Noah had ever seen it rain before. It rained so hard that the streams and the rivers and even the seas burst their banks and began to flood. Soon, every sandy beach, every rocky path, every patch of muddy earth had disappeared beneath the water and the boat began to float. It floated above the houses. It floated above the trees. It floated above the hills and then above the mountains too. It floated for days and weeks and months, and then it stopped, stuck at the top of a tall mountain. Noah opened a window to look out. The water was going down, but the world was far from dry. So he sent out a dove, and when the dove did not come back, Noah knew that it had found a dry place to build its nest. Come out! God called, finally, come out of the boat. The world is dry. The world is clean. And now you and your family and all the animals must have children and fill it full of life again. Hooray! Noah celebrated and he thanked God for saving him. God was happy too. So he painted the world's first rainbow in the sky to celebrate his fresh, clean world and to promise that he would never send a flood like that again. So I expect you know that story about Noah. Noah had a talent for building. He was able to build a boat, which was the same length as three NASA space shuttles. He believed in what God had told him. And there must have been times when he thought he couldn't do what God had asked him. After all, it was a huge task for him and his family 
to achieve. His friends thought that he was losing it. But with God's help, Noah succeeded. So the next time we are given a task that we feel is just impossible, remember that we have a great big God on our side who is more capable than we can ever imagine. Now, I have a couple of ideas for some crafts that you might like to do. So there are two crafts that you could do today. You could either do one or the other, or you might be feeling in a very crafty mood and you might want to do both. The story today had a boat in it. So I thought it would be fun to design a boat. Now Giles did this one for me and we've actually tried it out and it floats really well on the water. We did it from a pattern. If you look on the internet, you can find loads of patterns for boats, paper boats. But you might want to come up with your own design. Maybe you could design a boat with a sail or a boat with an engine, or you could just design a boat any way you like. If you design a boat and you're really pleased with your result, maybe you could take a video of your boat floating on the water or take a photograph of you with your boat. And I would love to see it. And here's my email address vicky at vickyrogers.co.uk and I would love to see your boat. So if you have a chance to make one and you'd like to send me a picture, that would be brilliant. The other thing that featured in our story today was a rainbow. So I have made a rainbow. Now I made my rainbow with ribbon, little pieces of ribbon. So Bethan very kindly drew the outline for me and I stuck on, I cut little bits of, uh, of ribbon like this and I just glued them on with some PVA glue. And I did, I tried to stick to the colours pretty well of a rainbow, not exact, but they're not too bad. And I'm going to hang that up in my room because I think it's really nice and bright and colourful and I think it will cheer me up seeing all those lovely bright colours. And at the bottom, I have decided to attach a verse. And it is from Psalm 139, verse 5. And this says, You are all around me on every side. You protect me with your power. You are all around me on every side. You protect me with your power. And I think that rainbow and that verse are going to remind me that whatever challenges I face, whatever difficulties I have, that I have God's strength and God's love to help me. I hope you have an amazing week and we look forward to seeing you next week. We're going to finish with a song that you will know. It's called Our God is a Great Big God. So you will know this song so you can sing along. Have a great week. Bye. God is a great big God